In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your rapid feed rates back to your Fusion 360 files. So this is a program that I did a while back. And in here, we're going to select our roughing toolpath. And in our roughing toolpath, we need a little information. So we're just going to go up here to the edit. And while that's loading, we need two things. One thing we need is to know is the cutting feed rate. Our cutting feed rate is 1000 because Fusion 360 with the new rule package, they have limited the feed rates to your um, regular cut rate, your rapid feed rates, I'm sorry, go are at the same speed as your cut feed rate. Um, in order to do that, we need to edit the uh, CNC file your G code and add some some of that back in there So in order to do that we need to find out what we need to look for and one of the things is going to be your cutting feed rate And it's 1,000 millimeters a minute another thing we need to look for is going to be your retract height offset and in this case it is set at 5 millimeters so once we have that information we can, we can uh, let's save this file here so that I can show you exactly. So I've got my roughing highlighted, whoops. I got my roughing highlighted here. I'm gonna go up to my post process. I'm just gonna name this 1001 and then I'm gonna post it. Okay, so there it is. I'm gonna go to my hard drive here's my file this would be the file that you would run on your snap maker so we're going to edit this and basically you're just going to edit it with just a regular text editor i'm just using notepad it doesn't really matter i mean notepad will work just fine so what you're doing is you are going to look for a certain line of code remember i said the retract of five millimeters so there's going to be a z 5.000 in there and then there's going to be a space and then an F1000 and the 1000 is going to be your cut feed rate so that's the line we need to look for and the easiest way instead of just typing all that out you can just scroll down your file here look and look for that and it should be somewhere near the top and here's one right here and if you look at that that says Z5.000 space F1000. So that means when your code reads down to this point, it's going to lift the head up to a positive 5 millimeters, and it's going to do that at 1000 feed rate. But we want to change those. So we're going to highlight that, and we're going to right click on it, and we're going to hit copy. We're going to scroll back up to the top of our screen here and we're going to click up here near the top of the screen so that we get at the beginning of our code. We're going to go up here and click edit and then right down here where it says replace. And once this shows up, we want to click in this box up here where it says find what because we want to search for something. So we're going to right click in there and we're going to hit paste. Paste. That is the stuff that we copied from our line. And that way that you can, um, don't have to uh, remember all that code. It's real simple. So then the, another way to do this a little easier also is to replace the same code. So that way you don't have to type all this all over again. But the thing we're gonna change is we're gonna change this last little bit right here from 1000 to 3000. Now, once you get to that point, then you click this button right here where it says replace all. It will run through the entire code and every one of those, it will change from the F1000 to the F3000. And if you want to check it, I'll just close this out here. We'll scroll down here a little bit. And if you notice right there, there's your F3000 with your Z5. Okay, one, one more thing about this also, if you've noticed, um, most, or I believe all your uh, rapid feed rates, this should be a G0 
on there, but I don't think it's really going to matter with our Snapmaker too much. I think this only really matters with the bigger machines, you know, your big industrial machines. So I've cut over 50 jobs with it as a G1 and have had no issues. So um, if you have issues or something, you might have to change that to a G0 instead of a G1. But that would be only on your rapid feeds. So that works out great. Once we're that all set, that should have changed everything. We're going to go ahead and hit the X up here. And then just hit the save. Don't change anything. Don't do anything else. Just hit the X and save. That way your file is all set. And then just load it up like how you were going to do before. And now when your um, uh, bit gets to the point where it's going to lift up to your retract height. It's going to lift up real fast. And then it's going to cruise across the table to its next position real fast. And then it's going to initiate your plunge feed rate, which is a lot slower. So then it's going to start coming down slow again. So it doesn't crash into your part. Well, that wraps things up. So let's uh, get those jobs going and uh, enjoy those nice new rapid feed rates.